you've seen the activity models for the purchases and payments process so now let's look at the structure models specifically the class models that show the purchases and payments process for sunset graphics okay first of all we have purchase orders being issued by sunset graphics partners issued to suppliers as shown in number one and number two we're receiving the products from the suppliers increasing the quantity of products on hand and finally the last event in the process is we are paying the suppliers reducing our cash now we're adding a couple of type images we have product categories and we remember that a sunset partner was assigned to manage each product category we have a new type image where we're categorizing suppliers by supplier category and now in this case we've collapsed purchase orders and receipts into one purchase event we would separately identify the date that the order was placed and the date that the materials would receive so we can record the purchases in a timely manner and separate those from the orders now to implement a database based on this we see that we're going to have eight tables and one linking table to implement the association between purchases and products in all other cases we are going to post foreign keys remember the rule of thumb is to post towards the many and away from the one in this example the employee number for the sunset partner would be posted in the purchases event and the supplier number the primary key of the supplier table would also be posted in the purchases event here we have an implementation and access we have transferred the UML diagram to access relationship screen we have product category classifying products we have a linking table between products and purchases we have the cash disbursements event affecting cash we have a table representing the sunset partners we have a table representing the suppliers and suppliers are categorized by supplier category Okay, which relationship in this case is missing how would you implement that finally the purchases and payments process is very similar to the sales process okay. what is different go back and review the sales process and see if you can identify the things that change between the sales and cash receipts process and the purchases and payments process.